so as there are twice as many side missions as there are missions that are relevant to the storyline, but I figured that I want to get done, um, the... I just figured I want to get one main mission done, so that's what we're going to do. So we're heading out to the Greys and seeing what they want to do. This here the Grey Plantation? Yep. Gallagher Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to it. Well, why are you pointing a gun at me? Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Uh, okay. Sure. Uh, I'm already inside the... I'm already inside the property, dude. Chill out. Um, forgive my sh short term memory loss, but who am I asking around again? Unless I just go directly to him, then I don't know why it wasn't so straightforward to me. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region. <laughs> I need one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Alright, he's in. Then, off we go. But he's probably going to direct me somewhere else then. Right? Don't barge in there. Like, really? Oh, there he is. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here. Then suddenly, there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of oh Tales. man, another and Romeo and Juliet Sheriff, novel. Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. I'm like, if your strength, if your guards are point already pointing guns at us, and I can only imagine what the guards of the other gang would do if we just come up and even get near them. I don't know why my horse just wandered. Oh, wait. Well, when the hell did you get over there? I can't explain that, but whatever. Hey, 
I mean, we are. I mean, they were actually much further than I thought. But, oh man, yep. Yeah. Of course they're gonna shoot us on sight. I'm being hinted of where the guards are, but I can't see a damn thing. Fog just rolled in all of a sudden. Ah, uh, there's one. Hum. Hum hum. My vision's getting blurry too for some reason. Should I approach this at another angle? Oh, well, the compass is showing me how nearsighted the enemies are. So this isn't even this isn't even gonna be a problem. And my arm of course not. Um, you didn't see nothing. You can't be here, plantation workers only. Get out. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. I don't suppose you mind my walking through these grounds. I got a guidebook talks about the big plantation house. Your guidebook's about to get you shot, Yankee. Get out of here. That's real hospitable. Good day. Okay. Warning. Got it. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so they really weren't that nearsighted after all. Well, seriously, how am I supposed to sneak past them? I don't have any good cover. Someone's sneaking on the property. Uh. You think that fence is up for fun? Get off this property now. Braithwaite Manor, ain't it? I read about it in my pocket guide. Do you mind if I tour the grounds? You're a tourist? What? You think this is Paris, France? Get out of here! All right. Good day, then. Okay, second warning. Well, this is going to be a major pain in the ass. I'm never really too sure how to approach this, but... <sighs> Not the damn gun, come on. You know there's gonna be some people on the front porch. I have no idea where the hell this fog is coming from, boy. Oh, he's looking straight at me too. 
You didn't see nothing. Nope. He's going to keep staring outside. He's right there. Oh, just go away, please. Just go away. He's right there. Okay, good. Figures. So, oh, mm. You telling me I gotta sneak all the way over there? Well, at least it tells me where the guards are. Exactly. Don't know what he's doing just pacing back and forth. That's still annoying as hell though. Okay, so at the right moment, he's gonna pace back to where he just was. Yep, just like that. Just like that. Technically, I should be out of the property, but I guess that's not the case after all. Well, it doesn't really matter, though, because we're still going to be out of his line of sight. There's one, I think. Just staring out into the open. looking my way though. That's not what I, that's the last thing I need. And I know there's gonna be one asshole over here too.
There really is no one there. Okay. What was that? Okay, you just stay right... You just stay put right there. Yeah, just stay there. Stay unaware of your surroundings. Hello there. Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> A letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... It would say so, know, yes. Cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are... are there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't. I, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. We're going to sneak right back out. Go figure. You don't have to tell me twice that I'm in the danger zone. But, I mean, how the enemies are patrolling the area shouldn't change so drastically, though. At least I freaking hope not. Uh, whoever was at the pier is now gone. About them being stuck in the Dark Ages, it sounds like they're being stuck on stupid, really. Well, I mean, the same can kind of be said for our outlaw, so, I mean, there's not much we can say about that, really. Can I just leap through there? Wouldn't it just be e Boy, I do not think so. Actually... I think so. Yeah, so all you guys can just suck it. I'm not sure if I'm actually looking at the front gate. Uh, I think I am. Is he still there? No, it doesn't seem like it. Uh...
Oh. Yeah, I think he's still there. I don't know if that's a person's silhouette. What are you doing? Come here. I can't be seen whatsoever. Oh my god. Oh. You gotta pay me to do that again. Sheesh. That was something else, I tell ya.